Let's go through a couple quick troubleshooting techniques you can use if you're having problems with TrueTest. First one, you forget your password. First thing you do is close TrueTest. Then you go to C, Program Data, TrueTest, Admin. In most cases, you're probably going to have to actually type this in the search bar so you can see the bar highlighted at the top of this window here. Just go in there to your computer C, type in program data. That's going to bring you to the true test file, a folder, and then administration. A lot of times you can't see that program data folder unless you have high level administration rights to your computer. Once you get into that folder, the only thing in there is the data.dat file. Delete that file and then restart TrueTest. It's going to ask you to log in again with a new password. You don't actually need to use a password in TrueTest, so you can just put in your username and just hit log in, and it will log you in. Um, that way, if you forget, you know, there's nothing to forget because you don't have a password on there. Downside is there's no security to it, so it's probably a good idea to use some type of password. Sometimes we run into sync issues with TrueTest and the SMFT 1000. In most cases, when that's a problem, either the TrueTest software needs to be updated or the firmware on the SMFT 1000 needs to be updated. Um, Sometimes it's both. So if you're having a problem syncing data between the hardware and the software, look for updates and see if those have the most recent versions. If you downloaded some data and you don't know where it went, chances are it went in the unassigned data section. So go into that, look and see if there's data that's in there, then you can transfer that into your inspections. The other thing that can often be a problem when you're downloading data from the SMFT 1000, if you did not sync the IRR2 to the SMFT 1000 before you downloaded the data, that can occasionally cause problems, especially with the irradiance and temperature data. An interesting thing about the SMFT 1000 with the IRR2, once you connect the two, the IRR2 will start data logging. And when you connect the IRR2 to the SMFT 1000, it will ask you if you want to synchronize the clocks by hitting the up button. Always do that. Synchronizing the clocks allows the SMFT 1000, if it loses connection to the IRR2, once you regain connection, it will synchronize that data. So it will import the irradiance and temperature data from the IRR2 into the SMFT 1000, and it will correlate the data together to get the proper irradiance and temperature data in match with your test results. So be sure to turn that IRR2 on, synchronize it with the SMFT 1000. I usually go into the IV curve, test on the rotary dial, connect the two, and then go back to the menu setting and download the data. If you have any questions, feel free to call our technical support line. They're all experienced and can help you out. Um, hope you enjoyed this training and good luck with your testing and reporting.